Hello grade 7, now we are in week number 10. Let's see what we are going to learn during this week. We will start by lesson 4-4 which is solve problems using angle relationships. Okay, so our goal is going to be find the measure of angles using angle relationships. Okay, recognize the relationship between different angles formed by intersecting lines and rays. Do you remember lines and rays? We have some relations that we are, want to use them in order to find the, the missing angle. Here I would like to start from T concept. We have uh, in this lesson four relationships that we are going to talk about them. I want to start with this one, the concept of adjacent angles. Adjacent mean beside each other, okay, so they have a sharing uh, or they are sharing array between them. So these two uh, angles are adjacent, these two are adjacent, these two are adjacent, okay. Uh, the adjacent uh, uh, angle sometimes could help us. If the adjacent angles are supplementary, what does that mean? It means that they form... A 190, uh, sorry, a 180 degree, so they are forming a line, same as angle 1 and angle 5, I can find uh, the missing angle between them. So, uh, the second uh, term for us today is supplementary. Supplementary means uh, they form 180. Okay, if the, okay, now if the adjacent angles form 90 degree what what do i call them i call them complementary so complementary angles are two adjacent angles that uh, when i do combine them i will get a uh, 90 degree okay uh, the other uh, type of relations is the vertical verticals means uh, they are opposite to each other if you have two rays or two lines the two uh, angles that are facing each other, we do call them verticals. What is special about vertical angles? They are congruent or they are the same. Okay, so angle 4 here and angle 1 here, they have the same measurement. During the class time, we are going to practice solving these questions. Um, the nice thing that sometimes you are going to find the measurement in an expression. Uh, geometrical, uh, sorry, algebraic expression. So here you are going to deal with algebra and geometry. This is something very nice. Okay, these two angles again, we do call them complementary, while these two, if I do combine them, I will get a supplementary angle. Okay. Sometimes you need to do more than one step in order to find uh, the required measurement. Okay. And sometimes you can get the x first, then you have to find uh, the measurement. So here you want to make sure that you are solving to find the x, the variable, or you are solving to find the measurement. Okay? As we do always, we will take homeworks, uh, then we are going to practice them together. Okay, the second lesson for this unit, for this, is going to be uh, eight dash five, which is solve problems involving circumference of a circle. Okay, what is our objective now? Calculate the circumference, radius, or diameter. So we need to review the concept of radius and diameter, and what is the relation uh, between them and the circumference. Of course, in uh, these type of equations or relation, we want to remember by what is by. What is the relation between uh, the diameter and the uh, circumference, okay? The key concept here, the parts of circles and their relationship are summarized. The key concept uh, here, the parts of circles and their relationships are summarized in the diagram below. We have the radius, we have the diameter. As you know, always uh, the radius is half the diameter. The ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter is by. Okay, so by is a ratio between circumference and diameter. 
which is approximately 3.14 or 22 over 7. So this is not the exact uh, value. It is an approximation. Okay. Can we find a relation for that? Yes, of course we can. Circumference is the distance around. So this is the border is the distance of the circumference around the circle. It can be calculated using the formula C, which is the uh, length of the circumference, equal by D. And because D equal 2R, which is 2 of the radius, so we can replace that with C equals 2 by R. So it's either C equals by, by times D or C equals 2 by R. Okay? Don't forget to check your LMS or your BC. It is full of uh, videos, full of activities, full of resources. You have to get benefit of that. Thank you, grade 7. See you next week.